Dale from Gale Force Winds, and I got to tell you what a privilege it is to be right here in Gander, Newfoundland, and in conversation with people in the mine uh, mining industry. We're at uh, Central Minex 2024, and I got to tell you, the excitement yesterday in the room as people were setting up was absolutely incredible. This day is all brought to you by our, our great friends at Caliber, thought leaders really in the room. They're bringing the conversation to the floor and getting it out to a broader audience. So it gives me great pleasure to have Ryan on the call here today. Ryan, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you do at Caliber? Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, Alan. Thanks for having uh, me on the show here. Well, um, so I've been involved in the mining industry for probably 20 years now. And uh, year over year, I've been uh, having well, predominantly increasing roles of responsibility, which is a great thing, but a little bit of a pressure cooker as well, nonetheless. Um, yeah, so what I do at Caliber is I look at corporate development, so opportunities within our organization and externally to our organization where we may be able to add shareholder value, whether that be through uh, some form of optimization or maybe even looking at ways to diversify our portfolio as we have recently done with the acquisition of Marathon Gold. And then at the same time, uh, I also do a lot of communication. So uh, I educate and communicate all stakeholders and shareholders of what we're doing at Caliber and why it might be of an interesting opportunity for them to potentially take a look at investing in the company. Ryan, uh, you say a couple of decades in this mining world that we're in right now. What was your journey to get in there? Well, prior to uh, getting involved in anything related to mining, I actually had a, a, a business degree and a computer science uh, background. So I've done a lot of uh, computer science over the years. But what really attracted me to this sector and this business was, uh, I mean, I think the uh, the relationship between business and, and, and metals was really one that, uh, you know, creating value, creating uh, basically from rocks or dirt, creating value in um, – in extraction and then working with uh, shareholders, investors and communities and businesses to grow them. So I've been fortunate enough now that I've worked on very large projects in British Columbia. Uh, I've worked on early stage exploration and development assets in, in Western Africa, in Ghana. Uh, I've worked in Spain and then most recently our, our group uh, has worked in Australia where we acquired gold production, advanced it, and uh, and then unlocked a lot of value by discovering one of the highest grade underground gold mines on the planet. So uh, a great track record of uh, development onto M&A transactions to unlock value for shareholders. So it's been a, a fun journey, and now we're building uh, a mid-tier gold producer with Caliber. At Ryan, there's a lot of moving parts in this industry. There's no doubt about it, as you so rightly point out, right from the minerals in the earth and, and all of the sort of moving parts in between. Talk to me a little bit about uh, your involvement here in central Newfoundland and why that's important to pay attention to. Sure. So as, as I alluded to there, we um, we at Caliber uh, became a, a junior gold producer in 2019. Uh, we started off in Central America. Uh, and then unlocked quite a bit of value for shareholders by uh, employing and advancing a hub and spoke operating strategy to uh, uh, unlock value, basically to de bottleneck and to de orphan satellites that may have cost hundreds of millions of dollars, but we utilize the infrastructure that was already in place to unlock that value. That gave us a platform from which to grow from. And so in 2021, Caliber acquired Fiore Gold in Nevada which was the first step in diversifying our portfolio, a small 40 to 50,000 ounce a year producer with a great land package. Um, so we've built a track record now of delivering on expectations. And what attracted us here to central region of Newfoundland was the Valentine Gold Deposit or project that was 100% owned by Marathon Gold. And uh, fortunately, Caliber was in a strong position from a balance sheet and production perspective. 
Um, and, and whereas Marathon Gold, uh, a junior gold explorer slash developer, were in need of some additional capital to help unlock the value of Valentine. So that's where the two companies came together in uh, a Q4 of, of 2023, announcing the combination. And so uh, where we're at now is we've closed the deal with Marathon. So Caliber is 100% owners of the Valentine gold mine. And we're making some pretty significant advances towards getting that into production and then operation where Caliber would then be a four to 500,000 ounce a year producer with over 60% of our net asset value coming out of North America and predominantly from the Valentine gold mine that is uh, anticipated and actually expected to produce between 195,000 ounces of gold uh, to 200,000 ounces of gold for the first 12 years of its current 14 year reserve life. Uh, so it's a very exciting opportunity. I think at the moment, Alan, we're about 62% through construction. Uh, we are fully financed. And there's been some pretty significant announcements uh, recently out of the company talking about new hires, uh, bringing on some pre-commissioning, commissioning contractors, uh, and most recently, the connection of the NL Hydro to the site has been uh, a very exciting for us to see some great milestones hit and more to come. At Ryan, I mean, it does sound incredible. And, you know, over on the show floor, uh, Caliber is there in full force in conversation with community partners and stakeholders, really, uh, you know, showing that this is an important conversation to be in. And on that note of conversation, of course, Caliber is a uh, being the thought leader today and bringing everybody into this conversation so that everybody's voice can be heard. Uh, tell me the importance of that to you to make sure that everybody's involved in this conversation. Well, it's, it's really, um, <clears throat> it's a philosophy that I think is important for all business, not just the mining sector, but all business needs to uh, find a way to be transparent, uh, find a way to work with our neighbors uh, to ensure that uh, socioeconomic benefits are shared, to ensure that we can uh, listen to our communities, to ensure that they're aware of how we're operating, and to ensure that uh, you know where we can, we uh, we ensure that uh, we incorporate uh, comments into our plans. Uh, and I think that's really critical uh, in any sort of business, not just mining. But, um, you know, that's, a, that's something that Caliber has been doing since we became a gold producer. You know, you look back uh, at Q4 2019, we're, we're going around working with all of the communities in which we operate. In fact, we do a lot of training. And, uh, and out of those communities, uh, we're, we're focused on those areas in, in to ensure that they get jobs first. Because um, local community members, if employed at the assets, can be uh, fantastic ambassadors for the company as well. So we're really trying to look at ways to share benefits uh, and to ensure that the, the, the voices of communities are heard. Well, it's very evident in the room over there that their caliber is engaged in that way. And uh, and I want to thank you for uh, being the sponsor of this conversation today. Uh, there's no doubt that you guys are the thought leader in the room for today and keeping this thing alive and ensuring that everybody's engaged. Very much appreciate it, Ryan. It's been an absolute pleasure to be in conversation with you. And I look forward to the day that we meet in person and continue this dialogue. Well, thanks again, uh, Alan. It's a pleasure to be here. And anytime anybody has any questions or comments or would like further details, happy to do another interview. And uh, you know, we're really excited about the sponsorship here at the uh, at the at the conference. Um, a lot going on within uh, within Newfoundland and Labrador with regards to mineral exploration, development, and new mines uh, coming on with the Valentine Gold Mine expected for uh, production the first half of next year. So, thank you very much. Well, that's what a steady hand on the tiller looks like right there. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Caliber, for being that thought leader. Mm -hmm.